Hello everyone, welcome back to Spark and Ninja. Now, I'm away in Dubai right now. I've been doing a couple of weeks of training, consultancy, doing a bit of development with um, World Trade Center over here. And we've introduced a test equipment to them. They've opted for the KT-63, which is not too bad. These guys have limited training experience, so it's a good starting point. Something they've also got is the, um, the, the Fluke Zero Adapter which they've obviously got separately focus um, to go with their equipment and um, I've seen these before, these came with um, MFTs, the Fluke MFTs in the yellow cases, they often came in top of that and I, m I noticed many many people just sling them in the bin because I just think they wouldn't need them because they'd null their leads with you know screwdrivers or whatever they've got on site and I'll be honest I would have as well but um, so I'm just going to demonstrate what it's for and then I wanted to just highlight something really with them Okay, so we've got our we've got our tester. We're going to set it to continuity, and we're going to measure the R1, R2 using this going around the sockets. We need to null out the lead resistance, and I I would normally just use a screwdriver across the pins or something, but this is this is made for purpose. This um, so you put that in there like that. You squeeze that in, and you can see that you now shorted out all of the terminals. And so if you then go to do a test. We've got a resistance of the lead, we can null that out. And then we have a nulled lead. Great. Um, this is also good for the leads, you know, it's um it's designed for crocs to go onto the sides. It's designed for actual these leads slide in quite nicely. So it's got a fair a fair wide use. It doesn't work with the QTEC tips, they're too small. But yeah, great. That's what it's for. So um Again, I, I myself, let me just check. I mean, this was a 0.13, it said. I would just use a, I mean, maybe a 50p. So let's just check that. Okay, 0.15, so it has 0.01 or 0.02 of increased resistance. That's fairly consistent. So, nulling with a screwdriver or something silly like that. Is, is is really fine to be honest. This isn't uh, a do or die instrument or a p an essential piece of kit. But if you've got one, just think about uh, think before throwing it. And I'm going to go on the laptop and explain why now. Okay, so here's the user manual for it. It's uh, it's illustrating the crocs and the leads and the tips. And being used and it's designed in its funny style so it can obviously be used for a number of plugs. There's the UK one, US one, etc etc. The uh, nulling for continuity and the nulling for loop. Why you do that? Maybe, maybe we don't really do that. But yeah. Um what I wanted to point out though is how much it costs to buy it. Um, it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's made of like, um, some kind of magic metal, or maybe some kind of alien metal, or if it's just freaking expensive for the sake of it, but a couple of, a couple of places to sell it, uh, this is the best one, yeah, including the old vat you got there, 50 pounds, 50 pounds to buy this piece of metal. That's just stupid. But apparently um, people are buying it. It's funny, you can buy it for £50 or I can just use 50p. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I just wanted to make this video so that if anyone has this and they think about throwing it or they see it, just remember how much it's worth. Because if you look on eBay, the people are selling them and people are buying them. Bizarre. I will... Uh, Make another video very soon on a dodgy extension lead that I've picked up today. And I'll speak to you a bit.